Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 87 of Ocean Block. A beautiful sunset. <laughs> um, I am so excited. I I have to share these things with you. <laughs> come see, come see. Um, let's go have a look. I have done a few things. Um, for starters, you can see up here. I, I bookmarked all of these because I added the recipes to the system. So uh, I'd already done this part before, I believe. Uh, so I just went ahead and set all that up. It's it was pretty easy. Um, there were two um, processing recipes, and the rest were just straight crafting recipes. Uh, so there wasn't anything too complicated with all of this, um, but I, I set everything up and had it make, uh, told it to keep 1500 or to request 1500 in the system. Um, I think it's cold. Yeah. So we got the 1.5k silicon ready to go. It didn't take very long to, to do the smelting and stuff. Uh, I've been editing videos all day, so I haven't been able to record. I finally cleaned up some space on my hard drive, so I wanted to uh, share some things with you guys. So yeah, I've got the electro silicon done. So all we got to do is turn that in. Uh, where is this? Let's, let's go ahead and do that, because uh, there's more, <laughs> there's more, um, let's grab one of yous, throw you in there, oh yeah, we'll get it go, okay, is this, okay, there we go, and that should be making our Singularity. Um, I have added, I finished off the matter condenser uh, compact machine. <laughs> um, and I, I started to add, because uh, I thought maybe it might work, if I added 10 more to each side at each level. Um, but I'm not sure if it's working yet or not. Um, it's kind of hard to tell when all you have is, um, by looking at the numbers, it seems like it's going slower, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not 100% certain. Oh, and I got so much, uh, stuff going on, um, and I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention to my redstone levels, and I may have started the Wyvern energy um, modules a little bit too soon because I was so excited about having enough draconium that I didn't pay any attention to the amount of redstone that it required. Uh, so I went into my system and I was like, why am I out of redstone? I don't understand. So this is built back up. <laughs> 1.9k redstone. I, I turned the, uh, the Wyvern energy thing off. I think it was up here. I put it there. I just took it out so it stopped making it. It's only at like 500 or ish. So we need another thousand um, of those. <laughs> so that's still four thousand blocks, blocks of redstone, not four thousand redstone, four thousand blocks. So that's like thirty-six thousand redstone, <laughs> thirty-six thousand that that I need to finish this off. So I also uh, made some redstone seeds. Uh, so that's what the quest is from, because I made these redstone seeds. A building uh, Oh, 
Oh wait, I have another quest. What did I do? Oh yeah, the, the singularity. A Kikoku? What is that? soul damage. Oh, there's something cool happened. Uh, I don't know what it was. I, um, let's just put this in there. Um, I went to I went to the nether to try and do some more artifact hunting. Uh, to get that final artifact I need, which I didn't find. Um, so I'm sad about that, but when I was doing it, I was using the dra Draconic Sword. Um, this little guy right here. Um, and when I did, I killed something and it dropped a soul. Yeah, a mob soul from Draconic Evolution. I have no idea what that's for, <laughs> but it looks cool. Look, I mean, I, don't, I haven't even done anything with it. Can, can I place this in the world? Is it a block? Um, no. So it's only an item. It's not used in anything. Uh, so I don't know, but it's a little pig man. <laughs> I killed him with my AOE. The AOE, this sword is getting really powerful. Uh, did you see how much damage it does now? 60? What? Uh, I have been working on adding the modules to these guys in between episodes. So let's look at it. Should be, oh yeah, the these things are tough because uh, they take so many potions. Um, so like to get three of these, you have to have six of the wyvern ones and twelve of the basic ones, which is a lot. Uh, because 12 of the basic ones, each one of those takes two strength potions. <laughs> and then the, uh, the Wyvern tier, it takes two of the basic ones and two strength, two potions. So it's, it's a lot of potion making. So I thought I was doing really good to get this much, uh, of the damage modules made. <laughs> and then uh, the AOE thing, I was I was gonna work on it to increase the size, um, but I never got around to it. Um, let's see how much I got on the bow. I got 61 max attack damage on the bow. <laughs> and and it's got tons of stuff in it. Um, we increased the uh, accuracy. Uh, look, I've got so much damage, my inaccuracy is almost at 60%. So I might need to add another accuracy module here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Instead of more damage, get some more accuracy. Uh, and I'll do that. If this one isn't that bad. I don't think there's any potions with the accuracy. Let's see. Do, do, do. No, there's just the target block. So we need two. can't do that yet. Because 
we don't have chaos shards. Um, not 100% certain how to do that. I've never killed a chaos guardian before. Um, it looks very, very painful. <laughs> I've seen, um, I've seen some videos of people doing it, and it, it this looks awful. <laughs> I don't know that I want, I want to do it, but I know I have to if I want to do, uh, more of the pack. So I'll probably do it. Let's see. Um. So I need four of these guys. I think I can do that. Um, just real quick. Oh, we need four targets too. Uh, do, do, do. Using some of my redstone. This is a wyvern, so I only need two of these. I only need two of them. I guess there's no basic uh, form of it. Glad I saw that. Uh, there we go. Inaccuracy is down to 39% now. Uh, so it's, I, I don't know if I'm going to like this uh, gravity compensation module or not. I haven't actually shot it yet. So if, if I like it, I might keep it in there. If not, I might put another accuracy thing in there because uh, that could be a little bit lower. I'm not sure. This time it's in there again. Um, also, I figured out how to load the auto feeder <laughs> but but not at the same time because um, it automatically loads itself it just didn't um, when I put it in it didn't recognize the bacon sandwich as food I guess it's not on the list of things that it will consume uh, but when I put normal food in there like uh, raw meat or steak it was funny trying to cook the steaks because i was eating it so fast <laughs> it was like oh, 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 oh. Uh, but i finally got some cooked and got a backlog in there so uh, that is that is pretty cool um i'd rather you know have the steak on me and just have it do it automatically than have to carry bacon sandwiches around. Um, those are good though. I like um, They just won't auto feed with them. So, sad face. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I had to take out one of my large shield capacity modules to put in the auto feeder. So I just threw that in there real quick. And another thing, I had to look on the internet to look up the auto feeder uh, because there in the Akashic Tome there there is no book for uh, draconic evolution and I checked um, there is an, an information tablet I remember playing this before and using this and it has like all the information about the mod that you can look at in the game but there's no recipe for it <laughs> there's no recipe I can't make it so I can't find out anything in the game uh, so I finally found uh, on the curse forge website where you get the mod there's a description that says the auto feeder automatically uses food in your inventory so when it wasn't eating my bacon sandwiches I thought maybe I if I did base minecraft food it might work and it did so there we go um what else are we doing okay we can also I thought we turned that one in uh -oh. 
electrosilicon one. I've just been, I'm so excited. I've been talking and uh, I, don't, I don't remember what I did five seconds ago. Okay, so we got that done and that's pretty straightforward. There's nothing I need to do with that process. Um, so it's good. I also did the coin. Um, I set up the uh, multi servo press. Uh, yes, I did a lot of things off camera, but I was was trying to do things without doing things, but it didn't work. Um, okay, here's the multi servo press um, with the numismatic die in it, and I have it throwing in copper. Uh, and turning it into coins and I put on oops uh, a detector to limit it to 1500 coins once it hits 1500 uh, it shuts off and it doesn't work anymore so I, it won't eat through all my copper let me out <laughs> goodness uh, so that was pretty easy to set up to uh, so that's something else we can go turn in real quick. Um, make make up the singularity for it. Uh, I've been waiting, <laughs> been waiting so long. So we just see the coin. It actually made a little bit more because it it makes it so fast. Uh, by the time it turns it off, it's still got sixty four copper in there to to make up. And it, each copper makes three, uh, three coins. Okay, it was done. It's got it. Nice. <laughs> so hopefully we get getting the the list wheedled down of the ones we haven't started yet. So uh, I imagine. Further gameplay will be um, augmenting these systems and automating them further, like uh, making a farm just to make uh, X singularity. Sorry, my phone was right next to the microphone. It's off, but it still does notifications. Okay, the coin singularity. Um, and I also started, okay, let's get rid of this one. I don't know what to do about this dense construction block. Uh, I can't imagine having to do this four times by hand. Uh, to make one item uh, there has to be a way to gather something with silk touch without using the building gadget um, I don't know I don't know so um, Leave me a comment that how do you make your dense construction blocks? Um, how do you gather them? I haven't figured out anything uh, automatically, but I do it manually with the building gadget. Um, I'm still trying to explore the mod pack to see what what other things are available, but you know. I'm not familiar with all of the mods, so there might be something that works, and I just haven't discovered it yet. Um, this one, we're still waiting for the redstone. Uh, this one, because uh, I told you, let's go look. Oh, I'm on the wrong floor. see the top floor is completely filled um, 
I only had, uh, I only made 10 and I tried to connect it. Um, but if you look, you can barely see anything moving through the pipes. Um, I don't know if that's just, it's going so fast you just can't see it. Like there's so much happening, it has to leave it out. Um, because all of the other ones are still visually working, just these aren't. Um, See, it seems to be occasionally it will boop, boop, do 200 all at once. So it's possible that it's still working, yeah. That it is working faster, that I'm just not seeing it. Which is sad. <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be fast pipes. Um, so yeah. consistent with this one doesn't I think it might not be working as well so I might just take them and see if the pipes go back Maybe I just sort the pipes. It's too much for them. See, now you can see it uh, starting to move again. Yeah, look. This is definitely going faster. So, too much in the pipes and it makes it not work at all. I didn't think it would work because it's at the bottom. And um, maybe I could, way to get some more stuff in here. <laughs> store them all internally rather than make one and then wait for it to uh, finish each step uh, so let's go down there and check it out huh. 
Ha ha, look at it. It's pouring it out all by itself. Uh-huh, so I, I had a problem with it before because um, I was just directly sending a signal um, and the signal was lasting too long and activating the faucet after it was empty. Uh, so I got this timer that only works uh, until there's a redstone signal, and then I inverted the signal. So anytime there's not something in there, it will turn this torch on, which deactivates the system. Uh, so it cuts that signal off um, pretty quickly, so that it doesn't keep making stone, <laughs> which is the problem that I was having. So I was very happy that I figured that out. Um, uh, using the timer helped and having it be uh, adjustable helps. Uh, so I was really, really happy about that. Uh, I, I can request all of the cobble gins <laughs> and not have to do anything now. It's fully automated. So let's go uh, let's go see if our cobble gins are ready. Although I think uh, I may need to increase the amount of stone that I have just kick it around because um, it's not enough to do like a batch and so it usually winds up once it gets to the last one it takes a lot longer uh, so yeah get in there uh, so we can do this and then get some more some more ultimate guys. Uh oh. I didn't think those would connect. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> okay. Let's get this guy out. And disconnect those. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's about to do one. That's pretty cool. I do like it sticking out like that. Uh -oh. That's pretty nice. I knew I'd uh, come up with a way to get more stuff in here. Oh yeah. See now, okay. It just looks like it's not working all the time. Let's get these hooked up and I will work on the other three floors in between episodes and hopefully get that um, get that singularity singularity going. Uh oh. Did I change that?
Oh yeah, there we go. Looks pretty cool. Oh look, you can see them racing down the tunnel. Pretty cool. I'll need to make some more pipes and uh, as well down to 16. Oh yeah, okay. Um, let's go check on our singularity. Singularity, I think we may have already looked. Yeah, it's like at 500. Uh, so I think if we get those other three in, the other three levels, um, <laughs> it, it'll still be a while. Um, so yeah, I don't know how to increase that more. Um, I think, I think cobble's the best way to do the singularities. Because I think it's just by item, not by like other sort of value. It's the easiest to mass produce um, with a cobble generator. So these cobble generators are much more compact than. Um, the ones I remember making in uh, previous games I may have played. Oh, the Supreme Coal, I added uh, the recipes for that. It was easy peasy. Um, well, it's a recipe. All I did was add it. Um, I didn't actually make any, although we do have enough stuff to do it. Uh, so maybe I'll just hundreds of premium now. Oh goodness. Look at that. Some premium coal. Oh man. I've been waiting to do this. <laughs> Here we go. Boop. Oh that didn't get put in there. There we go. Um so we got the Supremium Coal, and that wasn't very hard. Uh, all I can say is we need more um, Ethereum. We need more. I don't have enough, and I have two Mark II power pots going on that, and 33 regular um, botany pots, and probably about another 10 on the barge. So I don't know why that is enough. We're gonna need uh, like to make four of the ultimate singularities needs four Supremium Coal singularities, which means uh, like 12,000 Supremium. That's a lot. <laughs> And I just managed to get 3,000, uh, so I don't know, I don't know. There we go, Supremium. Oh man, look at that. It's getting closer. So let's get rid of the Supremium Singularity. Oh, we still have to start the vacuum tube. Magical Egg, the Logic Director Singularity is working, it's ready. I uh, believe Logic, it had time to go through and make all the Logic Directors, so we can do that one as well. Logic. 
Yep, there it goes. That's pretty sweet. I have done a lot of uh, recipe adding things. I still haven't gotten to everything that I've done. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, any second now, there we go. Logic Director. And um, we got everything set up. Uh, producing loads of stuff from uh, Integrated Dynamics. And we got Vacuum Tube, Tesseract, Magical Egg. Um, this one we're just working on, and this one we're working on. This one we've done, but I, wa I want to try and find a way. I want to try and find a way. Um, is there some kind of tool that runs off of energy that does silk touch by breaking the block? Because uh, I don't know that I can get something to use the building gadget uh, because it runs off of my inventory. So I don't think that would work. But, okay, let's... Um, the Tesseract. I, I had been dreading this one because it's involves the smeltery and the auto jar, and I'm I'm running out of room. <laughs> I, I don't know where to put everything, so I kind of crammed it in there on level three over here in the corner. It's the only place where I found any room left. Um, Put in a smeltery to smelt down ender pearls into molten ender uh, and then put it in a container and stored it and then i had to go over here everything is like blocked off <laughs> um, i haven't finished this quite yet i was uh i was trying to save it or on camera but this is just uh, the basic set up for it. Um, I think I'll need two. Basic setup that I used. Uh, the other one, oh, I'm gonna have to replace that. Uh, I want to do output from the top and you gotta reconnect that otherwise it doesn't update. Awesome! Uh, so now we have to, um, hold on, I gotta get back there. Uh, no, <laughs> this pick is too good. Um, okay, so we need to get uh, an exporter over here to load this guy up. with um, with the molten ender and this guy is going to have the recipe for the tesseract uh, to send what did I do with that did I put it in already I did, but I didn't put it. I must I must have put it in the the netherite crafter up here. Yes, you don't go there, silly. Over. I've been uh, adding all of my singularity recipes over here 
and I also added how to make uh, the components in here and all the gears and taught the system how to make all the alloys although I need to change some of it around and I've come up with a solution um, to, to fix some of the, the little things that are going wrong with it um, because this has three slots and just because the recipe has two, it can take in a third item that will basically gum it up. So I need to get rid of all the recipes that only take two items like Electrum and Invar and even Rose Gold and have it turn those into powders um, and do the combines and then smelt the powder. And that will keep it from having only two things in there. The rest of the recipes have three items, so all three slots are filled, uh, negating the need to uh, mess with it so it can't get jammed up. So I think if I do that, then I'll be, I'll be doing good. So I, I just got to switch that up. Uh, that's in the works. <laughs> So, um, we got the recipe now, it's, it can come over here, and live right there. Okay, um, so now we gotta tell this guy we want fluids, and I need a bucket. bucket. And uh, I know I, I probably said this before, but uh, I watched the direwolf video again and, uh, well actually I didn't watch it again, I just remembered it and investigated some more and figured out how, to, how he did that because I couldn't do it. Um, so if uh, you have to be in the, the fluid grid and you just click on what you want, it's not, it's not storing it. Oh, okay, I must have not set it up all the way down here. Got an external storage. Oh no. External storage. It's hooked up. Oh. The there we go. You have to tell it that it's a fluid. Um, okay, now we gotta go back up there and get the, uh, the fluid. If you just left click it with an empty hand, not with the bucket in your hand, otherwise it won't work. And you just go boom and it picks the bucket out of your inventory. If there isn't one in your inventory, it searches in your system for a bucket. So I didn't really even need that bucket. Uh, <laughs> so... That's pretty cool. And we just need to tell it to put the molten ender over here where we can access it. And, oop. And then I want to empty this into here. Get back. Um, and we also need to connect that. We need to connect it so it, it sees it sees the whole system. Boop, boop. There we go. Now it should start filling up. No, because I didn't put 
program the back of it. There we go. Um, I guess if I give this a higher priority, no, it's not storing it, it's just moving it. So it'll automatically move it to here. It's going really slow. I guess I could, if it's an issue, I could uh, put some speed upgrades in there. So, I need to look that up. And this is going to extract only the Tesseract. So, we need to connect that guy as well. Because it's ready to go. I'm almost out of cable again. <laughs> crazy wires. I just, I, I don't have anywhere to go. Okay, so now I, I may need some, I may need to do those upgrades. Um, just so it'll move it faster. So let's go ahead and make the upgrades. I don't think a stack upgrade will work. Uh, but we could probably put the speed upgrades at least. Um, oh, that's the wrong thing. But we used them anyway. Okay, let's... I don't know, does, this doesn't have speed upgrades. Um, so I guess I made those for nothing. Okay, so we got one Tesseract. Let's see if we can uh, kick this thing off. So what we want to do uh, is have it have it go ahead and make one and send all the stuff over so that this sees it there we go now we see it and we can start the process so anytime it gets one in there it's going to make a tesseract out of it and then the Tesseract will get sucked out. So pretty cool. Um, I think um, they're all metals that we have a lot of, so I think we should be okay. Um, although I might want to adjust the electrum. I already did the bronze. Uh, like I taught it how to do the bronze already the correct way. I believe. Let's go look. Uh, there's a fly. OK. 
Okay, so here's the bronze blend. It, uh, oh, I guess it made the 256 and then said, oh, I don't need any more bronze blend. Uh, so it knows to crack the bronze, it knows to uh, pulverize the bars. Where did I put all of that? Did I put it over here? Oh, we got the pulverizer over here it has uh, copper dust and tin dust. So I may need to upgrade this guy, uh, the crafter, to an iron crafter. Voila. Uh, luckily, these are a lot easier to change out because you keep all the recipes. So you can just pop it out. Oh, and of course it's the wrong way. There we go. And then we can throw this guy back in there. And then add these. Awesome. So now we can teach it to do more dust for the Electrum. Uh, so I can go down here, level three, and let's remove the Electrum from here. So it won't make it anymore. And then we can come up here and make a new Electrum recipe. I think it makes two, so we need uh, gold, uh, gold, and silver. Uh, but we need these to get turned into dust. Dust. There we go. And then uh, teach that to the system. There's my silver dust. There's my gold dust. Okay. So we want to process um, backwards. A silver makes a dust. Recipe. Gold makes dust recipe, uh, and those get processed in here. Oop, oop. And then we take and combine silver dust. No gold. Oh, that's not processing. The silver dust and the gold dust into the electric. This recipe needs to go away. Boop. Okay, and then we need to teach it to smelt the electro blend. Okay, so let's process electro. Blend, 
to an electrum and get. Oh. There. <laughs> Wrong one. So now it knows electrum the correct way. And it won't mess it up. Um, so yeah, it, it won't need, because it's going to need 1500 electrum gears. Oh wow, which is a lot of electrum. Uh, so yeah, it'll be a little bit easier because it won't gum up the system uh, by accidentally inserting something into that two slot <laughs> in there. So yeah, let's let's try it out. Is there anything? Okay, it already knows how to do a bronze gear, I believe, and it knows how to do bronze the correct way. So let's try it out. Test. Um, I guess the best way would just be to tell it to make uh, to request 1500, which I added another couple requesters back here. So all I have to do is go boop, and then it should start working. Let's see. Um, there's three! <laughs> Pretty awesome! There's four! Let's go check it out. Awesome! Look at it go! It is pretty slow. But it's uh, six second processing time. So it's pretty cool. Just going to take time. It looks like it's keeping this thing full. Which is good. How's it doing over here? Uh, this is staying full. Nice. It is. It isn't using it as fast as it's making it. So it's it's able to keep up. set this up like I did the other ones over there with uh, the exporter, um, the tank, it's pretty much the same design um, as those. So awesome! We got the Tesseract done. Um, So that's good. Um, okay, so all we have left really is the vacuum tube and the magical egg singularity. But I think this video is getting kind of long, so we might want to call the episode here. And uh, you can tell me how your quest for the ultimate singularity is coming along. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!